Hello, how are you today? My name is Carlos and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to try to do a little bit of something different. I'm creating this mushroom type of creature. I know it doesn't sound really excited. I'm going to do a piece that it has only aluminum foil. I'm not going to use any wire. This is a small piece. I don't really think uh, I need it. It's around 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. It has been a long day. But I just want to create something. I cannot pass the opportunity of creating something. And uh, I really hope if you are watching this video that uh, you want get some inspiration to create your own piece. No matter the situation, no matter the time that you have. Just that you grab your material and start creating. One of the things that I was thinking is that I've done some pieces about a crew that is exploring the space. And uh, I was thinking what they can find in those planets. And uh, one thing was a civilization of mushrooms. So that's why I wanted to create this character. And they're really simple. And uh, you can do so much. Again, you're going to hear me talk about it. And it's because it's so true that just with your hands you can create a lot of things. You don't need a lot of tools to create a piece. And over here I'm just trying to slowly see how my character is going to be, trying to before go for the details, knowing my, my character is going to be good, it's going to be bad, it's going to try to invade Earth or actually use this crew of outer space who's just visiting the planet. And I was thinking about that and I decided they need a kind of a weapon to defend themselves. And uh, I wasn't sure how to do it, more because I'm not using an armature. And also, um, I didn't know if I wanted to do just something simple like Groot that, that has his own body to defend himself. So, um, uh, all the time I was thinking what to do, what to do. Same time that I was thinking that, I was creating some texture. And it's something that I think I haven't talked about it, but... Uh, to give life to your character is one of the most important things, having texture, trying to create those lines, those dots using, uh, you can use so, much, so many things. Uh, over here I'm just trying to do all the lines and everything to create this texture that I've seen in some uh, mushrooms. But uh, you can use so much to, to just create a pattern and uh, even clothes just to put it on the clay. And uh, you can cover a really, really big section using certain materials. So it will help you to reduce time and create uh, a really nice texture. I think I'm going to do a video like that for the f in the future. So uh, you can understand what I'm talking about. Create your texture and have fun. Have fun. One of the most important things is uh, to enjoy and, and really practice make perfection. And I want to be a really good sculptor, so that's why I just try to create, create, and create. And over here, I, mean, I was trying to use a different kind of angle for my camera. I was trying to show more, so so you can see how I create my piece. Uh, completely, I fell. I'm never going to use this angle and spot where I put my camera. Uh, I apologize, I know I have my hand almost all the time in front of the camera and uh, I wish I would have seen it so I I would have changed it uh, so to show you more so I apologize about that one of the things that I was thinking is okay I want I need a weapon so how I'm gonna create it where I'm gonna put it and I decide to create uh, his arms thinking how to do the hands and in one of the hands, I really wanted to put some details. I really wanted to to show you know, that it was part of his body. And I decided to put that same shape that, that the mushroom has on the top, that kind of a head or a hat that they have, and uh, put it on the tip of the finger of the fingers. It was taking too long. I was putting a lot of details. So I decided only to put it in one hand. And, uh, and I was thinking how to have this arm that doesn't have an armature on a way that um, it's not going to deform. It's not. It's going to be able to give the pose that I want, but at the same time when you bake it, 
and the oven he, he becomes really soft and it can just deform because of the weight and uh, I, was just, I just thought about having a support having it all the way and going to the bottom and to the table just to have more support and uh, and I think it worked out pretty good I wanted to do so many type of weapons and I decided to go for this kind of machete or kind of knife to defend himself it's really simple and I think it works and, uh, and at the end of the day it was a really simple piece I really like it I really like it I can imagine being a uh, the civilization that uh, is trying to protect themselves. It looks like a pen, and at the end, I'm, I was thinking, okay, that looks more like a broccoli than a mushroom, or like kind of a tree. And the important thing is practicing. And well, this is just my piece about the civilization. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope it give you some inspiration to create your own. I know it's the most, no more, the most amazing thing out there, of course, but. Uh, it's something just to tell you that go for it. Go create your own piece. Please subscribe, comment below, and see you next time. And if you have any suggestion what else I can do, please leave it below. I'm going to try to do it. Thank you. See you next time.